Hey, Anel, you were so right about a woman being the backstop for male self-destruction. I just moved in with my girlfriend, and in one week she has asked me multiple times, have you always lived like this? I'm telling you, people don't want to hear it. Some people out there are living, um, you know, a neat life, even as bachelors. You know, they've got a very tidy domicile. They've got sensible furniture. They don't just sleep in a mattress with like one sheet on the floor and then like a TV on top of a cardboard box at the edge of the bed. But not me. <laughs> Didn't your mom instill these habits in you? Um, she was busy, honestly. Great mom. Maybe let me get away living a little bit too much like a slob in uh, my teenage years. Because you just sort of think like, you know, that's how boys live at that age. But then also, you know, once I went to college, it was too late. I learned on the job having roommates. It's crazy to think you'd live in a house with like seven people. Sometimes the whole house would go like three days without doing dishes. That's just insanity. Looking back on that it is disgusting, bro. The worst thing I do is eat the same meal every day for an entire week. No, it's not a librarian. The worst thing you do is like edit YouTube videos all day while also working your translation job and then get four hours of sleep a night because you're watching VTubers in the evening. Like that's, uh, don't act like you're out here living a normal lifestyle and then like the only difference is that you're, you're eating chili for lunch every day. That's obviously just, that's cope. The four hours of sleep a night is where someone would be like, Are, is this really how you live? They'd be like, what, do you have, <laughs> do you work like third shift or something? And you'll be like, well, <laughs> in, in a manner of speaking, I suppose. Is it bad to have the same breakfast every day? Are we at this point where like people are so online that they're asking if the most normal behavior of all time is insane? That's literally like average, at least in North America, is average North American behavior. My dad's been eating the same breakfast like every morning since I've existed on planet Earth. People are out here tweeting like normalize eating the same breakfast every day. Bro, it's, we've been running that since the year negative 6,000, okay? People are eating the same, the same everything every day in a lot of places. 1971, 296 million views. I don't know it yet. 1971. I'm going to say this is Landslide by Fleetwood Mac. I'm just going to throw a guess out there. That's not it. Okay, next. Ascending bass line, a little boom, boom. I have no idea. Go again. Oh, it's Imagine by John Lennon. Remastered, by the way. Remastered. Okay. Well... That's, we got that one. What a waste of everybody's time. <laughs> Easily one of my, I know, I'm sorry. Easily one of my least favorite songs of all time. Of all time? Well, like, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff I've never heard that's worse. It's complicated why I hate Imagine so much. One of them is definitely, one of the reasons is that for my entire uh, childhood into early adulthood, you basically just ha had to treat it as if it was like the most enlightening song of all time. Even though as soon as you turn like 12 years old, you should be like, it seems a little simplistic. John Lennon be like, what if we all just stopped fighting? Like, okay, you think no one's ever thought of that, brother? Gigi Allen's better. John, I was gonna say John Legend. John Lennon never did any of the stuff that Gigi Allen did. John Lennon never wore a diaper on stage. <laughs> Let's just leave it at that. On Hurt, deal four damage to the enemy. It does seem to make sense to... Just give me a second here. Plus two attack. Let's buy that. Put that on sick. I'm, I, I think we're going to go yard immediately. This cannot be a real game, bro. Why don't you go back to Twitter and be confused about how Baldur's Gate 3 won Game of the Year over Spider-Man 3? 
Oh, in Baldur's Gate 3, you don't even jump in the air and swing on top of the Empire State Building using cybernetic webs you shoot out from your wrist. Bro, let me spoil it for you. At the end of the day, every video game is pushing a button, okay? It's basically the same as working in a wastewater treatment plant. The only thing that changes is the set dressing. So if you're gonna actually be out here with like a 14 year old ego, it's like, well, when I press the buttons, I shoot out a big ball of lightning from my hands. When you press buttons in this game, all you do is get an emoji. It's the same thing, okay? You have no idea what you're talking about. I've been doing this since you were wearing dungarees. They're just toys. They're action figures. You gotta relax. Look at the plus twos. How does it make you feel? The only thing that's real is the arena of rhetoric, argument, and debate. And you're getting trounced right now. Oh, man. <laughs> well, the best button you can press right now, probably Alt F4, my brother. Get out of here! Okay. Now let me figure out what emoji I'm going to add here. All I said was the thing that this dev has dedicated the last two years to can't be real joy emoji. Yeah, well, you know what? Your parents might let you get away with that. Not here. You appear to me, just my two cents, you appear to be weaker than the enemy that we just killed. I can see why Mouth likes this game. It's, you know what? No disrespect to him. It's his speed, okay? Super Auto Pets, to be honest with you, if you're playing Super Auto Pets in 2023, you're in the damn back to tank and you're going up against people that like, I mean, let's put it this way. The player base that's sticking around in between update three and update four, the super auto pets, are people that are like professional blackjack players kicked out of every casino in Las Vegas. Like that's the level of competition that we're dealing with every single day. This is a little bit more. It's like playing video poker as the dealer. Ally summon, destroy it, gain 50% of its stats. Ally summon, give 50% of its stats to a random ally, spill. I'm learning so much about the world of emojis. I didn't know there was a spill emoji. Ogre? What is the purpose of an ogre emoji? Like just being realistic here? When do you use this when you're texting your grandma? When you're going ogre mode? You use it when you're mad? What's wrong with a uh, guy who's so angry his face turned beet red? That's not as mad as Ogre. You know what? You raise a good point. This is not as mad as Ogre. Nerd at the back. Me when I'm introducing prominent YouTubers uh, in reverse order of influence. Let's make sure we have the angry video game nerd at the back. Hey, Anel, has anyone ever told you that, excuse me, wind face? I, uh, my entire life, I thought this was a fart emoji. Is that what it's used for? It's a fart, 100%. Hey, Anel, has anyone ever told you you look like Les Grossman? Um, they used to tell me I look like Les Grossman when Tropic Thunder came out and it was more popular. Now, uh, they say you look like Tom Cruise from Tropic Thunder. So I have to say, I respect a, uh, a real one for remembering the name of Tom Cruise's character. A lot of people just say they, you know, they watch the movie where while they're scrolling through their phone at the same time, they don't necessarily remember all the finer point details. So I appreciate that. Tossing the hand size relic is a throw. I'm gonna win. I wouldn't worry yourself about that. It's just math at the end of the day. And I don't wanna brag, but I got a 82% in um, 12th grade math which as we call it in Canada is an A minus. So I think I know a thing or two about what I'm doing here. Did you have to take math? Um, yes. I only had to take one math in grade 12, but my school didn't offer like basically any electives. So it was either take more classes or just sit in the library doing nothing. And this was like before cell phones really existed, at least smartphones. It's before every kid had a laptop. So I just took more classes because it was either that or just like sit at a table and use my backpack as a pillow. So that's, I just found myself taking basically as many classes as were available. 
I ran out of classes in high school. You know what? That doesn't surprise me, Origin. And I think that's admirable. Maybe I had a tone when I said it. But that doesn't surprise me. What about fun classes like astronomy? We didn't have them. My school had, it did have like a couple of fun classes, like photography, but I was just never interested in that. But compared to like the average high school, we did not have many options. We, we only had one second language as well, which was French. And then it was only, we had so few students that took it that 12th and 11th grade were combined in one class. So if you took 11th grade French, it's like, are you really going to run it back? I did resistant materials. Every once in a while, I uh, like will visit a high school. There'll be an event or something in a high school gym. And I immediately realized, not to complain about how my life is gone, but I'm like, we're not on an equal playing field here. <laughs> Some high schools are the kids have like, you know, 3D printers and like, you know, PhD holders who are teaching computer science classes and stuff like that. And some high schools are just getting by. And my high school was, was I mean, I will tell you, we, were, we did fine, but we were just getting by. They had like exactly the mandatory credits that could get you into university and nothing beyond that whatsoever. Oni me, and imagine if we just got one more Oni, or a Clover. Or an Oni, or a Clover, what is this? Trigger activated abilities of all allies as if they were level two. No disrespect to my jorts. No, I can't afford it! I shouldn't have sold. <laughs> Shouldn't have sold. That might be a major throw. It's not sell, it's remove. You got me with that one. What is this? Enemy destroyed, gain 11 health. I remain unconcerned. We need... What's your activated ability? Any activated... No activated abilities here. Okay. Give me a sick position one. Follow it up with a flex. Then an Oni, a wizard, and a little pinata at the back. All we need, if we get a position one vampire, we will win. And I'll tell you that for free. That's still 500 damage turn one with the worst hand I could have asked for. Now vampire, please. I see a vampire. You go chef behind vampire. You go nerd at the back. So, saluter, second from the back, kissing right here, it's over for you. I'm going to become more powerful than you could possibly imagine. said the kissy face is an emoji you can't use. Yeah, well, shows what you know. <laughs> Thanks for playing the demo. Rounds 20, most played card, kissy face. Highest damage hand, literally the hand we had at the very end. What did I tell you? Wishlist on Steam, I don't need to view my deck. I view it every time I open my phone keyboard. Let me throw you an exclamation point or a slash marker. Face, hand. I think we'll come back and play some Super Auto Pets. We are going to be playing some Fortnite at noon. We're going to be dropping some Orange Justices. We're going to be eating some McDonald's. As you could probably tell from the delivery command. Let's play a little sap in advance of that. That should fit in nicely. But for the moment, I'm going to go to the bathroom. I'll see you in two minutes. Dude, I've never, I've never had... Auto mod set to level four before. I knew it was going to filter out um, some words that chat loves to use. I didn't know it was going to filter out shut up. <laughs> I 
That's a level of, of strictness in the auto moderation that I didn't know could happen. I, I saw you tried to get around it. You type SH uh, asterisk up. It got that one too. Holy, okay, it did not get be quiet, but it definitely did get, it does get shut up. Mute yourself. It's not there yet. The mathematical calculations have not gotten the machine learning technology to get there quite yet. You have no riz? Hang on, let's save that for the video. I've been accused of having no riz. Now, the person who wrote that is probably 31, but that's fine. I talk like an idiot, too. Um, I think that's true. I think I'm, I'm rizless, but I also think that I'm also devoid of desire for riz. It's not just the fact that I'm married, it's that I think I've, I've never really... Maybe when I like, you know, graduated from high school, I was like, ah, oh, I'd love to have charisma. But like the older I've gotten, the more I'm like, no, nah, you, you know, that's just a flash in the pan. You know, you, you can't lean on your charisma for the rest of your life. Eventually, like all things, that fades and all you've got is yourself. You got to pepper some skibbity on this. I definitely have skibbity, because as far as I'm concerned, skibbity is... It's... Goofiness. It's, I mean, you can use skibbity in a lot of words. It's an adjective. You could skibbity, so I'm going to say it's a verb as well. I think I've definitely got enough skibbity. Like, I'm not afraid to be a little silly with it. We're going to run this. This is kind of the kiss of death for right now, but that's okay. We'll go um, metal pot. Probably the not the most uh, common pot that Chad is familiar with. Now I'm too old for this stream. What's he jabbering about? I'm kind of the CEO of yapping when you consider it. I put my yap ability up there with just about anybody. Plus two, where did that come from? Um, well, because I go insane when I ride the Peloton. So on the first ride, uh, DL Guiga was there. And he was bringing the heat. Now, I, I decided to, you know, play with him a little bit. I said, you know, we'll trade the paint leaderboard back and forth with one another. And then at the end, I just kind of put the hammer down and then blew him away. But then I, I went to ride number two of three. And then I had the Discord open on my monitor all the way over here. And I couldn't see what he was saying, but I could see that there was his avatar, and he was typing a lot. It was bop, 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 bop. It turns out he was just saying, have a good holiday season. But from my position on the bike over here, I was sure he was complaining about something that I was doing. So in my head, I was like, in 90 minutes, I can't wait to get into that Discord and type CEO of Yappin. Then when I read it, I was like typing CEO of Yappin, but he was saying like, I hope everybody had a good ride today, so I just backspaced it. <laughs> What's going yard here? Turtles going yard. I can't believe it. Give me more lasagna. He's going yard like Shohei. We don't talk about that anymore. I Listen, in a way, I'm kind of like... It's a little base for him to take a $70 million salary and defer 68 millions of it. 68 million of it every single year for 10 years. At the same time, it should be against the rules of the collective bargaining agreement. That doesn't seem fair. Dude literally said, I'll, I'll play for free for a decade and then you just give me a billion dollars at the end. That seems like it. You did. This, in the NHL, people were doing like they would sign players until they were like 47 years old. They would pay them like the max for the first five years of the contract. And then they'd be like, well, when you're 42 to 47, we're only going to pay you like the league minimum. And everybody that did that, and by everybody, I mean exclusively the Vancouver Canucks, uh, got penalized. We're st we still got Roberto Luongo on the salary cap. The bro literally just went into the Hockey Hall of Fame. Meanwhile, Shohei Otani's not even getting his, his first paycheck until uh, 2034. Now that the Dodgers are incentivized to cause hyperinflation, do you trust the USD moving forward? Nah, I'm with you, Robert Kiyosaki. I think this is the, the de-dollarization event that we've all been looking for. Back me up on this one, DL Guiga. 
This is <laughs> this is the one. <laughs> You know how like every graph has like a, a huge dip in March 2020, every economic graph at least? This is gonna be the one, it'll be like, that's what, don't worry about that, we have to filter that out. That's an outlier, that's the Otani window. 55 burgers, great name given the situation today. Absolutely true. Everybody give it up to 55 burgers. Can we get a Lion Mac in chat in honor of 55 burgers? By the way, the McDonald's sponsorship is for today. This is the first time I've added an emote to my stream in two and a half to three years. <laughs> the last one was like Lion Beb, which was a long time ago. Those emotes are not going anywhere unless legally I have to get rid of them because they do use the registered trademarks of the McDonald's Corporation. But my intention is to keep them around. I love having a good McDonald's fries emoji that you can just drop. Where's the sprite emoji? That might have to wait for next time. I have to be very careful because during when we play the McDonald's minigame a little bit later, during the Fortnite segment, this I swear to you this is true, okay? I was reading the do's and don'ts for what to talk about. Now, I'm not going to talk about any of the don'ts necessarily, but I realized after reading through this document that I am actually contractually obligated to not say many things I've said about McDonald's in the past, such as a McDonald's Sprite is a health potion. I'm not the, I don't think McDonald's would have a problem with me saying that, but the Canadian regulator of telecommunications might have a problem with me saying that, okay? So like literally I was looking through this and I was like, it's good to know the things that I'm not supposed to talk about because I've been speaking very freely about the fact that I think it's a health food and after I drink it, I, my power level increases and I feel like I'm stronger than I've ever been before, okay? So I'm gonna have to tone it down a little bit versus the, the norm for me. You keep saying it? It's lampshaded with a hint of irony, okay? The CRTC, they understand irony. Like they put laws in place to make Canadian artists thrive. And as a result, we have to listen to Brian Adams all the time. Of course they got a sense of humor. Me reading the document, please don't talk disparagingly about Brian Adams. Oh, did you or did you not disparage Brian Adams? I'm sorry. <laughs> How much pain is someone in that they're listening to barely breathing that much? Are you making fun of my Amazon Music Wrapped, bro? Excuse me. <laughs> that was my seventh most listened to song, okay, of 2023. And almost all of it, I'm pretty sure, was when Kate was in Korea and my toddler got norovirus, like the day that she left. And then I got norovirus like two days after that. So the answer is a lot of pain, okay? I didn't listen to, to Duncan Sheik's Barely Breathing too much after January. If you want the rest of the intel, you're gonna have to check the librarian video. And if you ask me how I know, I'm gonna plead the fifth. We're so back. That worked fast? I'm telling you, I don't know what to say. Like. I, put, I turned the mod on level four and I didn't realize how strict auto mod level four is. Oh, you did that? That's auto mod level five. I don't know anything about that. I can't be held responsible for, for manual mod level five. Stop posting <laughs> dollar signs. <laughs> it's still picking it up, okay? Even when you put the dollar sign instead of the letter, it still picks it up. Be ketchup. Is that one of those things like you should never search for be ketchup? Like you should never search for like your name, the hedgehog on Google image search? Question mark, question mark, question mark. You don't know that one? That's an, that's an ancient internet meme. It was always like, don't search for blank the hedgehog where blank is your name. Or do search for it. it just know what you're going to find. I probably don't need to tell you what you're going to find. And if that's what you're looking for, I guess that's an easy way to get it. Can you tell me during Fortnite? No, I cannot. <laughs> that would have to happen right now. 
We're keeping it PG-13. And by PG-13, I mean G-rated. But you know what people always say? They're always like, oh, I like that comedian. But I just wish you didn't have to swear so much. It's like, it's, it's, it takes more skill to get a laugh without saying dirty words. You know? I'm, just call me the Jeff Dunham of the, of the Twitch world. All right, that's enough about Jeff Dunham, everybody. Listen. <laughs> I didn't know about all of that. Here's a, a math question for you. Can you get a 13-piece McNugget from McDonald's? Answer, yes. You get a 10-piece, you get a 4-piece from the Happy Meal, and then you eat one. 13 nuggets. Minus 2. No, minus one. If you minus two, you'd have 12 nuggets. There's many ways to get that. Three, four pieces, two, six pieces, or a 10 piece and a four piece and then eat two. See, there's many different ways that you can make that happen. And that's the beauty of it. it sounds like the Travis Scott meal. I, I don't know the Travis Scott meal because I didn't have the confidence to go through the drive through and say, you know why I'm here, Cactus Jack sent me. But what was the Travis Scott meal? I, I believe that it came with a Sprite. Is that true? A Sprite, a quarter pounder with cheese and french fries? That's not the Travis Scott meal, bro. That's like my dad's McDonald's order. <laughs> Your dad is Travis Scott? I never thought about it that way. But you know, in a, in a manner of speaking, he's kind of like my Travis Scott. Like he's the Travis Scott to me because he raised me. Favorite McNugget shape? You know what, we, we should save some of this for the Fortnite segment, but we could get into it. What are the shapes? There's bell, there's boot. And right off the bat, I'm thinking boot. Cause I like that you can sort of like, you can either grab it by the boot or you can eat the, the foot part of the boot and then you almost have like a whole nugget left over after the first bite. There's like four McDonald's nugget shapes. I know there's bell and boot. I always forget the other ones. Usually because I'm eating the nuggets too fast to look at the shape. Bow tie and ball. Ball's pretty good too. Ball is good because you can do like a, a rotational dip. Like you can dip it in the sauce and then give it like a little on its axis. You can give it a spin. Ball is life. When you're right, you're right. I do like that. That is my nugget take as well. I want a nugget that has topography. When a little extra batter has made its way onto the nugget and then it's in the fryer, and when you pick it up, it's almost like Ridley Scott could film like the landing of a spaceship in the crags on the cooked batter. That's what we're talking about. What's your opinion on boneless wings? I, um, well, I'm a charlatan. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get one win. <laughs> My opinion on boneless wings, I don't think I've ever had a boneless wing, but I think that I would prefer a boneless wing to a bone-in wing. I really, at this stage in my life, you know, I'm getting a little bit older. Um, I admire a food that is easier to eat. And I do feel like with a bone-in chicken wing, I do, the, the bone-in flavor is probably better than the boneless flavor for a wing specifically, but I do find it annoying to, you know, eat the whole thing and then crack open the rib in the middle and then suck the meat out of it. And plus then you got the bones and what are you going to do with the bones? Some, you put them on your plate, but you know, I don't, I'd rather just have no bones, I guess, at the end of the day. Are we eating the same wings? What kind of wings are you eating? I mean, I like to keep in mind, I'm just rolling. <laughs> I am literally, yes, and then I don't even want this unit. Okay, because I need to, okay, that was not smart. This was not a good round for us. Um, I was just clicking the button. We all know one friend, guy who hasn't been outside ever voice. We all have that one friend who they order chicken wings and then at the end you look at the chicken wing and it looks like a, a barbell. It's got, so it's got meat on the end, it's got meat on the, other end, and then it's got like a clean bone in the middle, okay? So I'm just saying, not everybody saying that I'm bad at eating chicken wings is actually good at eating chicken wings themselves. I'm just willing to, I'm willing to tell you that one for free. We'll go two free lasagnas on that one, by the way. 
I just ordered McDonald's, you're welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, we got one. I take the bones and put them in a stock. I gotta give you a lot of credit, librarian. <clears throat> you know exactly what you're supposed to say. Now, do I believe that you're actually doing that? I don't know what kind of caliber of stock you're really gonna get out of like the bones of 10 chicken wings. Usually you need like the whole carcass, but... Why are you laughing so much? <laughs> the ad is working, I want McDonald's fries right now. Did you hear that? Lion fries in the chat, please. Of course I do it ex... Uh, Smiley face. I don't trust anybody under the age of 40 that uses colon close bracket as a smiley face, okay? That's sarcastic. The same way like Gen Z gets offended if somebody hits you with a thumbs up, they think it's like passive aggressive, like good for you. If a young person uses colon right bracket, they're making fun of you. I'm not that old, okay? What about colon three? I don't even know. Is that like a Ray William Johnson thing? Gotta freeze this. How about a good unit? That's a good unit. That's a good unit indeed. What? <laughs> I meant to give it to the, I meant to give it to the skunk. I had the skunk in position four and then like committed the action to my brain and then... Oh, brother. Turn me into Crash Bandicoot for a second. <laughs> Wait, thumbs up is sarcastic? Since when? Uh, apparently since people started being born in like the year 2002. I didn't know either. They, you see what they do to us? For 500 years, thumbs up was a universal sign for like, I like it. It's the number one thing. Now, now I could, this was like my go-to move if I'm at a restaurant and the server comes over and says, how's the food? And inevitably my mouth is full because I just took my first bite. Now I got to go, it's really good. Because if I go like this, then they're going to they're gonna not be happy. <laughs> Hang on. Salty fries, dude. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's the, the K-pop heart is the, it's this one, right? What's the one, any, any Peloton riders in the chat? What's the one Kendall tool drop today? It was like a, she did like an underhand one. I don't even want to do it because it might be a, like a gang sign or something. I think it was a gang symbol. It was a heart, but she was doing it kind of like it was a gang symbol. Show the symbol? I don't want to do it because I might like to go back to Los Angeles at some point without running into any ops. So true. <laughs> Stop making fun of my hands, bro. They're just hands. I don't know what's... This is what my hands are like, and I never even played like melee. Can you imagine like how messed up my morphology would be if I if I I got involved in Super Smash Brothers melee? Like you guys don't have the the Doug Jones little like dip in your hand. No, on December twelfth, do not go to your local McDonald's and ask for the lion fries, okay? The hardworking people at McDonald's will not know what you're talking about. You are making their life harder. It's going to be like the Rick and Morty situation all over again. I do not have a special sauce. You know what I, I should do? I should take advantage of my connection to McDonald's now. And I should finally get my question answered about the logistics of the drive through And this is all stuff I talked about before being sponsored. So you know I come by it honestly. I really think it's like, basically, the people that work the McDonald's drive-thru are as good at their job as like air traffic controllers. How do they make sure that everybody that starts at the drive-thru gets their food in order 
Like what's, it's not a stack. It's, it's first in, first out. It's like a queue. They're in a queue, even though the foods take different amounts of time to prepare. And then also, somehow, it comes out in like 45 seconds. And it's one person with a headset talking to the people and then talking to the, the kitchen. Like that's, that's a logistical marvel. To me, that is like way more impressive than somebody making sure like all the airplanes go where they're supposed to go. Because every single one of those airplanes also has like two pilots that know what they're doing. I'm literally just sitting in my car going like, you know, come on, come on, come on. Where's my hash brown? Come on, come on. Hey, Anel, is it true you wear a men's size 12 shoe? I don't mean to brag, but yes, that is true. I do wear a, uh, a men's size 12 shoe. And that's all I'm gonna say about that. <laughs> no, you don't, you liar. I do. I wear a men's size 12. And um, to be honest with you, I have since I was like, there was like, I, I think I wore like the same size shoe from like second grade until sixth grade. And then from sixth grade till 12th grade, my shoe size went up like two a year and then it stopped forever. No, I would say my feet aren't that messed up. They're just like, I mean, they're larger than normal. They're larger than average. I wouldn't say larger than normal. What's average? I don't know. I'd say like men's size 10 is probably average. I'm not trying to get, make everybody self-conscious though. <laughs> That's big. I don't think men's size 10 is that big for a, for a foot. I have small feet. What's, what size are your feet? This is crazy because I'm like not a tall guy. I say this all the time, but I was tall. In the year, oh, thank you, Kate, thank you. In the year, let's say like in, in 11th grade, I was 5'10". I was probably like, you're gonna laugh, you're gonna think I'm putting on airs. At my rural Ontario high school, I was like median height, maybe even a couple people in the, in the graduating class above median at 5'10". I thought that that would last forever. I thought I would always be like slightly above average height. I don't know what they're feeding people these days, but the I would honestly say that if you took like a census, the average male population has gone up like three inches in height since I graduated from high school. It's only been 17 years, which is scary to say. <laughs> It's only been 17 years. People are eating good these days, it's true. I was eating like a lot of canned pasta as a, as a kid. I was eating a lot of wheat thins. Like, I, I don't think those were conducive. I don't know how much height I have like in my genome, like what my maximally expressed height would be, phenotypically. My mom is like five, six, and my dad is like six feet tall. So I don't know if maybe like I could have gotten like six, six, one, six, two, if I really like nutrient maxed, but I did not nutrient max as a kid. That is for certain. You guys are suckers. I've got McNuggets in the fridge. This is genuine. I swear to you, we've had this discourse before. Where did the self-control come from to not eat all the nuggets in a single sitting? I don't believe <clears throat> that for me personally, I've ever had leftover McDonald's. Did you order too much? Is there such a thing? Science is still trying to figure it out. I don't even know if I should say this, but sometimes my wife and I will get McDonald's and she'll have like two nuggets left over and half the fries. And you gotta, you, she gets right of first refusal on eating the leftovers because she just leaves them on like the dining room table. So sometimes I'll give her like a six, seven hour window and then I'm taking the phantom tax. I'm not above eating eight hour old McNuggets and French fries, absolutely. I read the bro is truly a great partner and I, was, I felt so good about myself and then I realized you said for ads. And I was like, 
I thought you were going to call me like a good spouse. And I was like, it's the least I could do is give her like a few hours to decide whether or not she wants to eat her leftovers. And then I was like, you know what? I was starting to buy into my own hype. I was like, that is pretty impressive. I also, I might be like the spouse of the century because my wife gets a six piece, but she likes two nugget sauces. I get a 10 piece, it comes with two nugget sauces. I give her my second nugget sauce so that she can have two nugget sauces for six nuggets and I go one sauce for 10. That's what it's like to be married. And it's honestly, I'm happy to do it. It's easy brownie points. Just buy extra sauce. You can. Don't get me wrong. That's an option. But then I wouldn't get brownie points. She's not giving me brownie points for spending 25 extra cents on the, on the McNugget sauce. <laughs> that's just a quarter. But to give up my nugget sauce, that's brownie points, bro. Do you know Jerma's insane order for McDonald's? I believe we touched upon it in Lies of P. What's your, uh, what's your go-to if you have like a, like a chain restaurant? Mm. I mean, McDonald's is, it's probably McDonald's. Really? Yeah. What's your McDonald's order? Uh, it's a, it's pretty normal. It's, uh, it's a Big Mac, two McChickens, 10 piece nugget and two McChickens. Is that for your family or? <laughs> I usually order like seven sandwiches. You said four <laughs> McChickens right there, total. Although no, you split it up. You it's two two McDoubles, two McChickens. Uh huh. And if I'm feeling a little frosty, I'll right. get a Big Mac and then like a ten piece. <laughs> wow. But the ten piece is for the party, right? If you're eating with more than one person, the ten piece is to be shared with whoever else is there. What kind of? You never know with that guy what's a bit and what's not a bit, though, you know? Was there, was, wasn't there, like, one McChicken, and then the second part of the order is, like, a second McChicken? McChicken, oh my god, McChicken 2X, extra mayo, 10-piece McNugget with sweet and sour sauce, McDouble, large power aid, number one meal, no pickles, apple pie? No, 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 that's... I don't believe that. I believe that he's... I don't know what to say. <laughs> Can I have fries with that? Thank you, Raiders. Thank you, Daniel Raiders. Can we get a, a lion fries in the chat? Dan, I know you're not the jealous type, but wait until you see this emote. Look at that. Ooh. There's also a lion mac, and then I believe there is a, a, a lion yum. I didn't want to call that one Lion Bag. I decided Lion Yum would be a little bit more apropos. Dan, what's... <laughs> Actually, I forgot. I know Dan's order. Everybody's got a McDonald's story, man. It's still crazy to me that Dan's McDonald's order is uh, a, a hamburger. I don't even know. We talked about it during Gangs of Sherwood, but is it a, is it a hamburger or is it a cheeseburger? But you don't you don't go to McDonald's and order just the, the hamburger and the white paper? Mm, no. Are you asking someone at McDonald's to provide you a white paper? <laughs> no, the hamburgers come in white paper. Oh, okay. Are you oh, going yeah. are you time traveling to like nineteen fifty six to make your order? No. <laughs> they still come in white paper. Do you just get a plain burger? Yeah, I get the plain burger. Yeah. You're, I, I respect it genuinely. You're like one of the last holdouts who's going to McDonald's and going, like, I'll take a cheeseburger. Yeah. No, I don't get a cheeseburger. I get a hamburger. What is that do like? Do you order it, like, <laughs> specifically plain, too? Because they do that, where it's like, they, you just get, it, like, meat yeah. and bun. They have hamburger on the menu. They it's, do. It's just hamburger. Yeah, that's what I get. I mean, what is your sum total of your order is like a dollar nineteen or something? Yeah, they pay you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's very economical. Get the surplus stock. One hamburger? Yeah, just a single. Yeah, what's wrong with the hamburger? That's well, fine. yeah, it's it's okay. It's just like I don't know. One McDonald's hamburger is probably like 
360 yeah, calories. Up, yeah, it's yeah. like... Maybe a little more than that. Maybe like Give me a, a chicken on top of it. Fries, Dan? Fries with it? I'll, I'll, I'll hit a dad tax. I'll take like two or three from one of my kids. Oh, the okay. Phantom tax, I understand. Yeah. yeah. Just hamburger. That's wild, man. I'm not saying you're missing out. Like, I'm sure you know what a hamburger tastes like. <laughs> or a cheeseburger, I should say. But it, it, it really is like, it's very 1950s coded. But I do also recognize that there's like, um, as DL Guigo would say, it's, it's at the marginal maximum of getting a nice treat for yourself without necessarily blowing your MyFitnessPal for the day. That being said, the last time I had uh, just a hamburger from McDonald's, there was someone I worked with in South Korea who like every Sunday, he would just order a bag of hamburgers. And I don't know how to describe it any different, but he would, because Korea had McDelivery like all the way back. I don't know when it started, but they definitely had it when I lived there in 2010, 2011. He would order like eight cheeseburgers and hamburgers from McDonald's McDelivery. And then you would go over to his apartment and he would just like pull out the bag and be like, do you want a McDonald's cheeseburger? And I always did. It always hit the spot, especially on a Sunday. And I felt like a hypocrite because I was like, I don't think I would just order a bag full of cheeseburgers. Like I felt like that made me, you know, in that one way, it made me superior to him. But I was definitely going over to his apartment and stealing one. So I was getting down in the muck with him, quite frankly. I think the way that Daniel orders a cheeseburger appears to be the more dignified way. That was in the pre-Phantom tax days, too. Nobody knew what the Phantom tax was back then. We knew what it felt like. We didn't know what to call it, though. I'm going to eat a McNugget for every kill that NL gets in Fortnite. You are going to be full. Because <laughs> I'm about to go off. He's probably going to starve to death. He's not going to starve to death. Because if he's getting the McNuggets, he might as well get some fries along with it. And he didn't say he was going to limit himself from the fries. So he can eat the fries while he waits for me to get a kill and probably a victory royale so that they can eat all the McNuggets, okay? Unfortunately, I can't capitalize on the deal because I live in the United States of America. Listen, you've probably got, excuse me, you've probably got McDonald's around you if I had to guess. I don't know exactly what the United States of America is like. That being said, did you know, I mean, this is for the Canadians among us. Did you know that the McNugget is a Canadian invention? Can I get a fact check on that one? When I say Canadian invention, it was probably invented in the United States of America, but I believe it was trialed in, at Expo 86 in Vancouver. Can I get a fact check on this, please? This post has been verified by real Canadian patriots. We take those. It's true. Go check it. I, if I had to guess, I bet Canada per capita is one of the countries that loves Chicken McNuggets the most. I bet in Canada, we skew higher than the United States on McNugget orders at McDonald's. That's my take on it. In terms of, not in volume, because you got 10 times more people than us in the United States. But in terms of like percentage of orders that contain McNuggets, pound for pound, band for band, I think Canada goes one to one with you. You need a dedicated McDonald's analyst for this bit. <laughs> I do ask... By the way, if, if you're watching McDonald's Canada, I do ask a lot of questions about McDonald's. I'm a very inquisitive person. I have a very curious mind. Anytime I'm like at a restaurant or really any kind of establishment, I'm like, huh, how does that work? How does this, how do they do that? I'm always asking questions like that. I got a lot of questions about McDonald's. It seems like a, it's a logistics marvel. Is it true that at um, McDonald's, in, I don't know why I'm burning so much material before we even get to the McDonald's segment here, essentially. But either way, is it true in France that like the McDonald's soda cup, you like bring it back to, to the restaurant? 
because they don't allow single-use containers, right? So don't they give you like a cup and then you return it to the counter? Some places in France do do that. I'm so worldly when it comes to knowing things about McDonald's. <laughs> they picked the right man for the job with this one. I've eaten at McDonald's in Canada, the United States of America, South Korea, and Japan. That might be it. That's only four countries, but still. Mr. Worldwide. No, wait, but maybe, at a, maybe in Iceland as well? No, you know what? I ate at one in the UK too. That's more than most people. And I do want to say I've had some of the regional specialties, okay? Quit bragging. <laughs> the Shanghai Spice, if I, if I may use a little bit of influence here, the Shanghai Spice Regional Chicken Sandwich in South Korea goes very hard. I think we could handle it in North America. I'd love to see it. And in Japan, I did have the, the Ebi Burger. It's like a shrimp patty and I liked it, honestly. It's not, I know that the initial hunch will be like, oh, it's a little strange. Not really strange at all. It's kind of like um, it was like a shrimp croquette on a bun. It was it was nice. No, no, no. You can't kill me in any way that matters. Also in Japan, they have the the shaken fries, where they give you like a bag with the fries, and then they give you the flavored salt. So you can get like a little like umeboshi flavor on top, or a little like seaweed flavor on top, and you shake it up. They also have the concept of Bushido. That is true. I personally would say that I don't see how that's relevant to McDonald's restaurants, but maybe somewhere in the management style it's, it's relevant. I wouldn't know, quite frankly. Can you see the auto mods or can only I see the auto mods? Because I don't want to laugh at something and then think it's private and then everybody knows what, exactly what I'm laughing at. Hang on. Malv said, Malv's a noted McDonald's enjoyer. Tell McDonald's to make my breakfast Big Mac idea. What's your, what's your Big Mac idea? Malv, please be careful with the language. You're not subject to the same rules of moderation as everybody else. We're on level four mods right now. You're not even allowed to say shut up or the level four mod will delete your message. So just that's where you, we should be very G rated right now, okay? What's, what's your idea for, for breakfast here? It's a breakfast Big Mac. Okay. We'll hold on this one. Malv said, okay, here we go. Brioche bun with everything bagel seasoning. I'm already very in for that. Sausage patty, hash brown patty is the middle bun. Egg, grilled onion, special sauce. It sounds delicious. It sounds fantastic. And you know what? Maybe today's the day. <laughs> I've got a little bit of influence. We're pushing it through today. And we'll call it the Northern Lion Burger. Yeah, exactly. You see, you know what's going on here. What would the NL Burger be? I do like the idea of the everything bagel seasoning. I feel like it's, it's an underutilized... I know they have it at some establishments, but I still feel like it's a bit of an underutilized uh, option. So I'm gonna steal that from Malf. I honestly, I'm just stealing the whole idea, quite frankly. Um, I'm taking it bar for bar, word for word. You know why? Because I, I also, I very much respect him for saying sausage patty. I'm kind of a believer that for me personally, Ronald McDonald Real, thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. I'm a believer in the sausage patty. And just sausage in general. When I make pasta, oh no, for my daughter, you know, the recipe calls for ground beef. I personally call for Italian sausage. So I'll open up a couple Italian sausages and crumble that into the, the pasta instead. You ever watch the McDonald's VHSs? I have. I had a birthday party at McDonald's. I would go even like a step further and say that like, I don't know if it made it to the United States of America in the same degree, 
but I probably went to like seven McDonald's birthday parties between the age of three to six. I remember watching a VHS tape where Grimace uh, loses his pocket. I don't know if for McDonald's they might be annoyed that I spoiled this video in case it ever comes back. Spoilers after 15 minutes of talking to the Hamburglar, Ronald McDonald, uh, etc., etc., various McDonald's characters. It was on his body. He still had his pocket on his, on his body. It, wasn't, it didn't go anywhere. He was just confused. Look at this. Game one, turn 10. What can I say? All right. <laughs> Slash marker me on the sap here. We are going to begin the pivot to the McDonald's Fortnite section of the stream, okay? So I'm going to go away. I'm going to put a starting soon thing on the screen. Look at this cleanliness. Ooh. <laughs> you probably did not need me to say this. But I did not make this. <laughs> That's probably apparent. But then the watch there. Ah! No, I'm still here. All right, see you in approximately 10 minutes. All right, chat, we are back. I'm super excited to say we have been sponsored today by McDonald's Canada. Thank you to McDonald's Canada for the sponsorship. I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want this to, maybe I could put myself up, put my name up in lights or something like that. Today, we are celebrating McDelivery. In particular, we're gonna be talking about ordering McDelivery through the app. And I have to admit, I've been a bit, I'm gonna say that I'm husband coded. My wife previously had the McDonald's app. Sometimes I would go to um, McDonald's. I would be like, ah, I don't have the app, it's okay. Uh, she's got the app, she's in charge of all that stuff. I, it's, it's a fault of mine. So I downloaded the app yesterday and I didn't realize that basically I've been playing on hard mode. I, uh, we go to McDonald's, I mean, my wife, she, she said it in chat already. The first meal that she had uh, after we had our daughter was McDonald's chicken nuggets. I went out of the hospital at like 11 p.m. Uh, to pick up some McDonald's chicken nuggets to bring back to her. No disrespect to the hospital food, but I mean, how are you supposed to compete with the chicken nuggets? Uh, if you order via the app, you get... 100 McDonald's reward points for every dollar you spend. The reward points can be redeemed straight up for extra food items. You also get offers. Somebody in my chat was talking about it like two weeks ago, and I thought they were joking. My offers right now, first off, here, let me, don't make fun of my battery life, okay? Can we see this, or is my screen, it's a little flipped. Hang on. Dude, it's not flipped. I thought for sure all the text was going to be backwards. $4 Vancouver Canucks game day for a Big Mac. Every Vancouver Canucks game day, you can get a $4 Big Mac. A free six-piece chicken McNugget if you order a delivery. And a free cheeseburger with the purchase of any food or any beverage. I've been leaving food on the table every time I go to McDonald's. I didn't realize I, I, I could be having stuff like this, just adding an extra hamburger on top. Dan, you're invited to come to us with McDonald's. We got you covered. Now, when you get uh, reward points, you can see right here, 2,000 reward points gets you a variety of different stuff there. Any size tea, two donuts, any size iced coffee, hash brown, vanilla ice cream cone. There's also, if I may view all, the more points you have. Yeah, we got, we got donuts at Canadian McDonald's. We got mini donuts. I'm showing my locked rewards. I haven't gotten this far on the McDonald's Canada Battle Pass yet. Once you get up to 6,000 points, I mean, look at this. A McDouble, a McDonald's breakfast sandwich, a junior chicken, a McFlurry. You get up there to 14,000 points, 10 chicken McNuggets, the quarter value or quarter pounder extra value meal. 
I had no idea. Kate, I hope you know I'm going to start collecting the points now. I'm going to be in charge of the points in this household, okay? I didn't realize that we were, we were making life harder on ourselves for no reason. A little later, we'll be ordering some McDelivery, and when it arrives at our house, we'll be eating it and showing it off. You probably know what chicken nuggets from McDonald's look like. You probably know what French fries look like, but you ain't ever seen me eating them. Oh, you want some too, Kate? You want some? Okay, we can make that happen, okay? That's no problem. But first, we're going to play the, uh, the extension that they've built for us, okay? So I'm going to click Start Game. They would wish to get a Big Mac and chicken nuggets. We go Big Mac, we go chicken nuggets, we put it in the bag. Another satisfied guest, 100 points. They want French fries up here in, in Labrador. They want French fries a quarter pounder with cheese and a snack wrap. We go French fries, we go quarter pounder with cheese, we go snack wrap. That's a given. I believe I have to get 5,000 points. I'm a little embarrassed by my slow speed so far. We can do this. I've played order fulfillment games before. You know that. 17 seconds or maybe we only need 3,000. Maybe we only need 3,000 points. I'm embarrassing myself. I was talking too much. I should have been clicking on buttons. I wouldn't cut it. You're right. I wouldn't cut it in the drive through We go French fries, we go snack wrap. I have two seconds left. Nuggets. Oh, <laughs> four stars. <laughs> Dude, when I had the, uh, I had like a preamble call for this yesterday. They said it should be no problem. Hang on, I got to get this. They said it should be no problem for you to get 5,000 points in the first round. And now I'm like, I'm, em I'm embarrassed with myself. I only got 4,000. Okay, but we'll return to that throughout the stream. There are three different levels. Now, I was encouraged to talk about some of the fond memories I have of going to McDonald's Canada throughout the stream. Um, you already know if you've been watching the channel for a while, a lot of my stories take place in McDonald's Canada. My wife, as she said, she, the first meal she had after um, giving birth was Chicken McNuggets. That is, that is very true. That's one of the scariest drives I've ever made in my entire life, just as a result of the adrenaline coursing through my veins from my life having changed. Uh, but once you get the nuggets back into the hospital room, oh baby, it hit the spot. Secondarily, I have been, this may be a shock for the many Americans watching this stream, but there have been many promotions at McDonald's Canada uh, throughout the years that you might not have been privy to south of the border. I remember when uh, I was like six or seven years old, they sold hockey cards alongside some of their meals. So for like a, a, an extra charge, you could get a pack of hockey cards with your order. I was really into collecting hockey cards as a kid. I remember I opened up the pack of hockey cards and there was like a gold foil Patrick Waugh, who is one of the greatest goalies uh, in NHL history, back when he still played for the Montreal Canadiens. And as soon as I unwrapped it, there was an older gentleman next to me who said, uh, how much do you want for the card? And my parents were like, it's not for sale. And then the guy said, I'll give you a hundred bucks for it right now. And they said, no deal. Cause I mean, it's kind of a sus situation, right? Like they're trying to uh, force your hand to get you to part with something when you don't understand how much it's actually worth. Every couple of years, I go look up how much that card is worth. Uh, via the online Beckett database and it's literally like um, $2.75. So we really, the point of the story is we should have taken the 100 bucks back in 1995, 1996, but that being said, <laughs> it, it's made for a good story over the years, okay? That's my advice to you. If you ever open a hockey card at McDonald's and somebody offers you $100, take the 100 bucks kid right away. Because a hundred bucks, I mean, is my math correct? That that's 10,000 reward points. That's basically uh, an extra meal on top of the meal that you're already going to get because you're already at McDonald's. Plus the hundred dollars. I mean, that's just on top of it. I'm going up. I'm honestly, I'm, I'm a little better with the high ground, Anakin. Stay low. I got no ammunition left. I gotta go straight for the pickaxe kill. It's the only way. Okay, this may be a bot lobby. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> 
saved, saved. You don't think Thermal Dragon 39 is a real dude? I'm going to tell him you said that. We don't need that. Whoa, whoa! That was a real person, bro! Dr. Spider! I might have gotten like a false sense of confidence, okay? <laughs> I really thought the, the level of player would be roughly around Thermal Dragon uh, 39. It appears that that's not the case. It appears there are some Dr. Spiders in the lobby. Oh no, they put me in bronze three, bro. Okay, well, I'm gonna take this opportunity to order the delivery via the app while we're here. You have allowed this Dark Lord to twist your mind until now, until now you have become the very thing you swore to destroy. Now I'll just tell you straight up, okay? You can order McDonald's delivery through a variety of food delivery services. You, can, you, you know what they're called, Uber Eats, DoorDash, Skip the Dishes, etc., etc. If you do that, I'm not gonna stop you. All I'm gonna say is learn from my mistakes. You're missing out on the reward points and the offers that you can only get through the app. If you order it through the app, you'll get the points, you'll get the offers, take them or leave them, and they'll make sure it ends up at your door. You don't have to worry about any of that stuff. All right, Kate, what do you want? I don't even need to ask, okay? I know she wants the chicken McNuggets. I know she wants the fries. My usual, she said, that's a test. You know, I'm even going to throw a little bit of dessert on that for you. How does that sound? And I'm just going to get my usual as well. Which means, listen, I don't disrespect the offers, okay? But I, you know me. I'm a routine-based Andy. I love a 10-piece chicken McNugget. I love a French fry. I love the Coke Zero. And this has gotten me in trouble in the past. Sorry, I'm, I have split focus here while I finish the order. This has gotten me in trouble in the past. A lot of people think that I'm, I'm making this up when I say it, but I swear to you it's true. My wife will tell you. She'll keep me honest in the chat here, okay? I love dipping the McNuggets. The dipping sauce is part of the appeal. But at the same time, I'll go dipless as well. If I find myself sans dipping sauce, I'm not afraid to just go in dry on the nuggets. Doesn't bother me in the slightest. I'm thrilled to do it. You know why? Because one McNugget beats zero McNuggets in all situations. I'm not saying that you should go dipless necessarily. I'm simply saying that dipless Andes out there, such as myself, sometimes get uh, maligned. People say, how can you just avoid dipping in a situation where dipping's possible? Sometimes I like them, I like them au naturel. Victory Royale en route. I would say, honestly, I know we don't do channel points betting around here. I would say safe bet. They immediately knew they made a mistake. We take those. That's a real person. They know. Oh, whoa! Okay, we got one more in us. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't expect that it would be going so fast, okay? When, the, when they got close to me, I got very afraid, okay? I got very scared. Hang on, I just got a reply to a message here. They're sending emergency messages. We thought he was good at Fortnite. He's a streamer. He should be good at Fortnite. I've gotten some victory royales. Some of them were in bot games. Some of them were in real games. And maybe one of them was in a solo. Tifu deployment incoming. <laughs> He's crazy. He's crazy. Now, I don't know if we should be sieging this domicile right here. Holy. My shoes are on the wrong feet. Come on, Peter. Is this the Family Guy house? Peter Griffin's in there? <laughs> Peter! Peter, I'll save you! Whoa! He's a boss, bro! Nobody told me that he had, he had the, the yellow bar on top of his HP. Hang on, we gotta throw a shield breaker grenade at him. Oh, he's got, he's got guards, bro! Wow! Get out of here! 
Okay. I'm ready for you. Nice try. Taste my blade. Taste my blade, Peter. I got you. I got you. You're in trouble now. Holy cow. Is this the gritty? He hit the gritty on me? He's got multiple faces. I'm not dying to Peter Griffin during this sponsor segment. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. I'm, I'm a little confused about... What oh, the Peter! Dude, he's like a an SCP or something like that. Like, he's just coming out of the walls. It gives passive shield regen. Holy cow. I never brought the heat like that before, guys. I never brought the heat like that. Peter Griffin's hammer pump shotgun. Holy, he got the Peter Griffin medallion. What am I doing? <laughs> Oh, baby, your location area is exposed? Because I'm the greatest to ever do it? There. Whoa! I'm not cut out for this kind of lifestyle. Nice try. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen today. I'm getting in. Okay, I don't know, like, about the long-term ramifications of this move, but... <laughs> he's, he's not messing with me. I'm not messing with him, okay? Your delivery driver is outside. Bro, bro! The circle! Okay, honestly... I don't want to get banned for teaming, okay? This, dude, this was my right move from a game theory perspective, so let's get in there. I'm not going after you. You go after him, and I'll third party. He's not third partying! He's not respecting it! He's not respecting it! No! <laughs> no, I thought that we were friends! That's why you don't be friends with Darth Vader, bro. <laughs> Classic mistake. That's why you don't be friends with Darth Vader. All right, all right. But top three's got to move me at least up to bronze two, bro. Silver one? I'm going to the moon. Okay, okay. Return me to the lobby for now. <laughs> oh, man. That's a big one. I still can't believe that I've been out here... I mean, I've been enjoying myself, don't get me wrong. Anytime I, I end up eating lunch at McDonald's, it's a happy day. I just can't believe that if I've been ordering on the app, I could have added a free hamburger or cheeseburger to my order with my current offers. Or a free six-piece chicken McNugget. Or a $4 Big Mac game day because the Vancouver Canucks are playing. I don't even want to think about how many reward points I would have lifetime that I have just squandered by not using the app. Like, it's one of those things that's like, if you have, it, you know, if you saw, like, a stat screen of your life, and it said, like, here's how much money you've spent on, like, well, I don't know. I should probably be careful when I t think about what product, but, you know. Because I was going to say toilet paper. <laughs> Dude, that's probably one of those things where you're like, you know what? Fair enough. I'm, I'm not going to be disappointed with how much money I've spent on toilet paper throughout my life, I think. This time, because remember, someone in chat said they were going to eat one chicken McNugget for every kill that I got. I hope they've been eating their french fries. Because otherwise, they're probably a little bit hungry right now. But I feel like we have an obligation to try to get their lunch up here, okay? Okay, stealth mode, stealth mode. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huge. That's actually a real person. They've anonymized their name. Okay, there's one nugget for you. Somebody just got downed up there. I'm going in to feast on the ashes. It's Bedlam. You see the steps, bro? It's on fire? 
Look at the snap. Look at the snap, bro. Wow! <laughs> I got killed by the pickaxe? Still, we, we, we gave that person one nugget. Did you see how he was mining? How do they do that, man? What are you guys doing in silver? Oh, okay, now I get it. <laughs> oh, man. You gotta hit those shots, but if it was me, I wouldn't have missed those, let me tell you that much. No, no, I, me personally, I probably would have hit those. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. Favorite McDonald's breakfast item? Go. I'm a simple man, me personally. I, I'm like uh, Freddie Mercury. I want it all, right? I get sausage and egg McMuffin because I can't just pick one. I want the tanginess of the sausage. I want the salty richness of the sausage. And I want that fluffy egg as well. Also, McDonald's, I don't know what you're doing to the English muffins, but keep it up. Sometimes you'll get a little foolhardy and you'll think to myself, maybe I'll make my own breakfast sandwiches at home. The English muffins that you use in that situation don't even come close to the English muffins you get at a McDonald's restaurant. There's something special in the, in the recreation there. And then I have mentioned this in the past. I did recently become a, a two hash brown guy. I resisted that I didn't, I didn't want to become a two hash brown guy because I know that once you start as a two hash brown guy, you can't go back down. But I would say for probably two, three years now, I've been a two hash brown guy. And usually it's like, I'll go through the drive through What am I doing? I'll go through the drive through That second hash brown is just a little treat for me to eat until I get home and then I eat the, the breakfast for real. You ever eat on the Peloton? I, I love to tell uh, funny stories about my life, okay? I do eat on the Peloton. Uh, I eat two bananas every morning while riding. Uh, and then I, you can't see, cause my camera frame is very narrow. I put the banana peels like right up there and then I usually throw them out before the stream. Yesterday, I just got distracted and didn't throw them out. And then I had a, a very rare video conference call to prepare for this afternoon. Uh, I used my full screen camera and it wasn't until I got in the meeting that I realized there were two old banana peels just sitting on the shelf behind me. Not very professional. I'm hoping that the, uh, the other people in the call didn't notice. I was very embarrassed. Um, and then I threw them out immediately once the call was over. <laughs> and they were probably like, what's this dude doing with banana peels on his shelf? Well, the shelf is right next to the exercise bike. I don't want to hold the banana like the whole ride. So it really, I mean, you'd have to be silly not to have a banana peel on the shelf in the whole scheme of things. Nemesis AR. Why, why do they call it Nemesis when it, it's about to be my best friend? Really makes you think, okay. Steppers! <laughs> Run, get through the window, alien. That's not good. He's scared. What's this turret? I can't believe I'm alive. Bounty completed, you survived. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Welcome here. <laughs> That's not the spirit of McDonald's right there. It's a very welcoming place. I just heard the door open up. <laughs> I hear a... I hear a paper bag. I hear fast footsteps. Care package inbound. Chat is 33 the amount of kills he has. Please nobody tell them. Are you the person who was eating one chicken McNugget for every kill that I got? You may want to pace yourself. 
I'm shooting through the evergreens, bro. We're, we're moving different. Oh, baby. Oh, thank you. It's the largest bag I've ever seen. Okay, thank you. Hang on, hang on. I'm working right now. I'm, I'm getting desk audited live on the stream. Don't do it. I'm begging you. You already mentioned you have eight kids. <laughs> yeah, but now there's ten. You don't get it. It's, uh, it's two for five days. Two it, for five days. It's a simple mathematical calculation, okay? She is right, though. There shouldn't be that many cans on the desk. You know what it is? It's like um, when you're playing like Xbox Live and your friends think you're cool. And then when your mic is open, your mom says like, okay, it's dinner time. And then you've got to like acknowledge that you're not as cool as you think you are. But actually like your mom's cooking you dinner. So you're a very lucky person. Okay, we're popping this. Nice try, nice try. Go ahead. <laughs> now listen it's not my best performance in history here without a doubt maybe the worst gunfight I've ever seen but it's perfect timing I'm about to crack open the mother load thank you for this by the way Kate I know you were involved in the facilitation you know what? There is a little something in here for you. You're going to pay me with the food? Well, Christmas is coming up. I guess it's okay if you get your present a little early. <laughs> that guy was so excited to almost eat a McNugget there. I know! I broke the shield! That's new for me. Okay. I'll tell you, without a doubt, you already know what this is. This is the Coke Zero. I'm going to back it up a little bit. It even came with a straw. It's paper, okay? And then, the ultimate bag. Oh, baby. <laughs> they went a little extra mode. The steam is like, is given, I don't know how ultraviolet waves work. I feel like the steam is tanning my hand a little bit. Can we get some lion fries in the chat, please? Delectable. You already know the vibe. The 10 piece chicken McNugget. Not stingy with the napkins, but they weren't just eating them out there for sport. Holy cow. There should be a scientific study on why the best french fries are bag french fries. I don't know what it is about them. The ones in the bag taste even better than the ones in the box, which already taste amazing. A second 10 piece for my spouse. That's brownie points right there. Holy cow, we got four dipping sauces. <laughs> Three sweet and sours and a barbecue. Oh, two sweet and sours and two barbecue. They know me so well. And as a tribute to Germa, a couple apple pies. Holy, we're gonna snack on these as we keep this going, but first we're gonna fulfill some orders but I can't resist. Look at this. Can we get some autofocus on this, please? Producer? It turns out we cannot. So I'm going to need you to put some lion fries in the chat so people know what they look like. I'm going to hydrate just a little bit. Hold your own hand behind. Hang on. This is streamer tech.
What? It works, bro. The tawny beige, the visible salt crystals, warm to the touch, crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. It's been a bit since I've had a, a McDonald's apple pie. Hang on, let me get one of these. This is such incredible technology. <laughs> That's pretty good. I used to get a McDonald's apple pie like every time I went to McDonald's when I was a kid. And then for some reason, I just went, let's skip that for now. Probably college. I was like, we're, we're penny pinching. That is a nice treat right there. I'm so, was it Talia that gave us the, the autofocus technology? So Chad was giving me a lesson on McNugget shapes, of which there are four, okay? This I know. This is the boots. I said that the boot was my favorite shape, okay? Called a boot as a result of the fact that it has, it, look, it resembles a boot. I'm not very good at holding things up for the camera, okay? This, then, must be a ball. Is that correct? It's the most circular of the nugget shapes. Then this, what do we call the long boy? This is bone? That's bell? That's a bell, okay. And then, it's a party time. Party time, oh thank you. You could just leave it right there. I'll, I'll unbox it as we go. Holy. I didn't open this can. Mm. Oh my god, you got two drinks on this one. Ooh! <laughs> We're oh eating god. good. What's the fourth McNugget shape? I'm trying to... I don't know if I have any of the fourth one. I think I got bells. I think I got boots. And I think I got balls. But I don't think I got, I don't think I got bone. It's the one that looks like a rectangle. Wait a minute. This one right here. Oh man. I've talked about this with Daniel before. It really brings you back to being a kid. There's something about it. It's like distilled childhood down to a taste. As the alien, you should spawn with alien weaponry. Like a, a ray gun or something. I don't think I want to be in there. I think I gotta count your blessings to even be alive right now. Okay, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. CEO of jumping. See that? I insane. They didn't think I had it in me. And for a second, I hate to admit this. I think I thought that they were right. Hang on, my controller must be wiggling around like crazy. Okay, keep your eyes peeled. That's one McNugget earned. I'll I'll go band for band with you on McNuggets. I'm not concerned about that. One kill equals one McNugget. I swear to you, is not a bit. It's even crispier than the last. Oh, baby. Can I say something, by the way? We've talked about it before. A lot of people act like barbecue is a starter sauce that you eventually graduate from. It's the same way people talk about apple juice. 
If I go to McDonald's and I say sausage and egg McMuffin, um, two hash browns and an apple juice to drink, people are like, oh, the apple juice must be for his kid. No, nah, man, I like apple juice. Sue me. Same thing about barbecue sauce. For a while, I didn't get barbecue sauce with my nuggets because I was worried that that's not something grown-ups do. I've gone back in the last few years. I've gone back to barbecue. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I think it's, it's the sauce of champions. You can choose whichever sauce you like, by the way. Me, personally, I'm a barbecue guy. I always get flamed for apple juice. I'm telling you, there's apple juice haters everywhere. The orange juice lobby, and I'm not trying to insult orange juice, but for some reason, it's like orange juice. People see it as like, oh, it's the patrician's choice, and apple juice is like just for babies. But then if you're like, why don't you get a real juice? Like, why don't you go cranberry? People are like, cranberry, let's not go crazy here. I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Same with plain milk. Now listen, pump the brakes. <laughs> you can, if you'd like, but it's not for me. That's not my tempo. I'm doing a, a nugget taste test. I gotta tell you, boot is still on the top of the list. Here you go. Oh. <laughs> Why does the food in Studio Ghibli movies always look so good? Imagine if I got hit by a car in the game when I said that. This is how kids get to school these days. Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be something? Oh, man. Wouldn't that, that would be something. No doubt about that. We used to orange justice to school. Both uphill. Both ways. In the storm. And we liked it. And that was before they nerfed fall damage. Okay, Grandpa. Let's get you back to Dusty Divot. This new map is inspired by Italy. I've never been. They got floating islands there. Kate, I love seeing the, the lion fries in the chat. You know what? Just for that emote usage, I'm going to take a second and treat myself. I'm going to dunk into the sauce. I got a whole setup here. You wouldn't understand. And then I'm going to hit you with the influencer. Oh, man. <laughs> Before this, you didn't earn that? Hang on, I'm gonna get a kill, don't worry. I'm gonna get a kill here, okay? I'm gonna capture the flag. Capturing the flag is worth one nugget too. You didn't, you didn't read the document before we started? Oh no, I gotta, I gotta, oh, someone's coming up, man! You're not ready for the smoke. I am now neutralized. I'm neutral on, on my nugget setup. Holy cow. We are going back into the extension. I'm starting a new game. It's beginning as we speak. Get ready to fulfill some orders. 12 orders? McNugget, snack wrap, this and this. Oh, we're going in. <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. World's slowest reaction time, I understand, but we're going. You, fries, Coke, McChicken. I'm so, I'm so embarrassed about my own performance. McNuggets and fries and a drink and a burger. That's basically my order. You're not going to trick me on that one. Wrap, McNugget, Big Mac, McChicken. Big Mac, Coke, Snack Wrap, McChicken. That was like a three second order. Go again. Big Mac Nuggets, Wrap, Coke Zero. Oh, I thought, oh no, I 
I've been penalized. It's not a Big Mac. It's a quarter pounder with cheese. Oh. Uh, uh, McChicken. Oh, <laughs> I'm so bad. <laughs> I'm just remembering when they showed me the game. They're like, don't worry. It's pretty easy. All you have to do are click the buttons. And then I made like a self-effacing joke. I was like, you don't really know who you're dealing with here, do you? Like, I'm pretty bad at this kind of stuff. They were like, don't worry. You'll be fine. Hang on a moment, by the way. Hang on a moment. <clears throat> Watch this. Just for you, I'm turning on the Mick Delivery subscriber only privilege. You were having a little bit too much fun with it at the start of the stream. Apologies to the followers. Hang on. Can I use gold here? A mending machine. Oh! You know what? Just for that, just for finding the mending machine, I feel like we've earned. Another one of these. Hey, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Relax, okay? Relax. What's your policy on nug sharing? It's dealer's choice. They who have the nugs choose what to do with the nugs. Me personally, and I say this without a hint of irony, okay? If I got a 10 piece and you're with me, you're entitled to one. I would never deign to ask someone who ordered a six piece to give me one. That's 16.6% .6 of their nugget quotient. That's simply too much. And four is like, no, no, no. They should be cherishing every single one of those. But at 10, sure. At 10, I think that's where you, you, you pay your friends a little forward on that one. Okay, we rush this down. Oh. <laughs> I know what you're going to say. Why did you move your crosshair when they weren't moving? I assumed that they would move, okay? Watch this. They don't want the smoke. <laughs> They're in trouble. I'm insane. That's two nuggets right there. Are you seeing that? That's two chicken nuggets right there. Oh, man. Forget the loot. Two eliminations already. Can I tell you something, though? Short stories. The saddest five-word story ever told. I'm out of chicken McNuggets. Five words. Eat your heart out, James Joyce. I knew it. I've still got some apple pie left. We can always eat an eighth of an apple pie per kill. You got another 20 nugs down there? <laughs> Mom said we can eat more McDonald's. Let's go. Okay, 20 kills incoming. Or you could order more through the Mick Delivery app. You know what, Chad? Thank you for the assist on that one. Bro, there's a burger on the screen. Wait a minute. Hum, 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 hum. Mmm, nom, 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 mm. Munch. <laughs> oh, the future of entertainment. Now watch this drive. This would be an insane time to hit like a headshot from across the map. Oh! <laughs> Always drop one of these on you. The most embarrassing thing about this is my keyboard is like built to, uh, it has LEDs that synchronize with the 
orange justice dance. So every time I do a dance, my keyboard starts blinking in sync with the music. I ordered a 20 piece for you. Hey, hey, you ordered a 20 piece for us. <laughs> Come on. Please show keyboard. No, I'm embarrassed by how dirty it is. People are going to be like, oh, you type with that thing? Just imagine that it's clean instead. Maintain some level of self-respect after... I got desk audited earlier too. I promise I don't live like a rat, okay? It's just a busy time of the year. Justice for Tomato Town? Okay. Okay, this one's for you. Justice for Tomato Town incoming. Two more people have have faded away. There's only three people remaining in the game. If there was ever a time, why not us? Why not now? So true. Don't give your position away this time. Well, luckily, I'm green, and so is the grass. So, right now we got nothing to worry about. God, this would really be the, be the greatest capstone I could ever ask for. But the circles, the circles, oh, I see you. He doesn't know. He knows! I'm leaving. Two gamers remain? Scrub 101? That seems like the name of someone I do not want to go up against. Stay low, bro. Oh, get high. Must be around there. I'm confirming that. Copy that. How about some stam? Love that for me. Thank you. Run a little faster, please. Keep your eyes peeled. That's a big one. Hold. He's out of heals. Patience, we have the circle next. We got shields all day, bro. I've got Montague's virtue. Cover. Lot of cover. No! No! No, no, no! He didn't even drop an emote on me on the end of the day. Come on, man. Oh. All right. You know what? Before we finish this. Silver 2! <clears throat> Before we finish this. One more order fulfillment because I want to put us one up on the streamers that are going to come after us. Extension me. Start game me. Move me over here. Go full screen me. I'm, I'm doing it this time. Get ready. 12 orders. I'm not going to talk. I'm just going to do it. Bad start. I have to talk. Talking is what I do. A little faster, please. Hold. Talking is what I do. 
Now, because I'm watching my own stream, you're gonna see the little right-click context menu come up like another thousand times. So just prepare yourself, don't get distracted. Keep clicking the French fries, you'll be okay. What am I missing, bro? I'm, st I'm dumb, I'm stupid. <laughs> We're not getting there. It's, uh, it, it's sinking in right now. It's simply not going to happen. We need to do four orders in 10 seconds. I ain't got it in me, bro. <laughs> so demoralizing when they, when they rip control from you. <laughs> Nine out of 12, everybody in chat's like 10, 11, 12, 10, 11, 12. Oh, man. That stings. Sorry, I took my camera off instead of the, the game. All right, again, thank you to McDonald's Canada for the sponsorship. Get the, get the app, okay? Sponsorship notwithstanding. The app is literally free money. I mean, I probably legally can't say that because you're spending money in the first place, but you're leaving French fries on the table. That's a, a euphemism that I think I could probably, it's probably in a gray area, okay? I'm going to be using the app from now on, and if you're ordering make delivery, you can order it through the app. That way, you still get the rewards, you still get the points, and you still get the offers. Thanks again to McDonald's Canada for the sponsorship. Much appreciated. And thank you, chat. Thank you. I appreciate you being here. Let me see if my wife is ready to stream. All right, I'm going to send you over to my wife's stream. I don't know if she is uh, live yet, but if she's not live yet, she will be soon. And I will see you tomorrow. She's live! Later! What's uh, what's your stream of conscience? What are you just like? Just like stream talk? of consciousness. Yeah, you, get, you just say things. It's a psychological exercise. All right, just off the top of the dome, please. Here we go. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kinda odd. No barking from the dog, no smog. Mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. I got my grub on, but didn't pig out. Finally got a call from a girl I wanna dig out. Hooked it up for later. As I hit the dope, thinking will I live another 24? I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. If I hit the switch, I can make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light, looking in the mirror, not a jack of green sight. And everything was alright. I got a beat from Kim, and she can do it all night. We're just gonna keep going here, huh? Did you? Was that? I was I, very impressed by the up, or? Like, yeah, did you just freestyle that? And that was an original off the top of the dome. No, no, yep.